If you're making these plates for yourself, make sure there's absolutely no gap between that knife edge bevel and the backing bar. If you have a gap, you're going to melt away that knife edge and you're going to long arc and lose your puddle. In this video, I'm going to show you my method for running a 3G root pass on an AWS D1.1 certification. I got 7018 1/8 electrode, quarter inch backing bar, quarter inch gap between the two 3/8 plates with a 45 degree inclusive angle. Pay attention to how long I'm holding the sides. Keep a tight arc. You don't want to be too close, but you want to be really close to that plate. Let the puddle wash up the bevel. Avoid excessive rod manipulation. You do that, you're probably going to end up with undercut, trap slag. Constantly push your rod forward. Make sure you don't long arc at all. Watch the very edges of the puddle. You want to keep that consistent. Travel up the same amount every time. I'm trying to hold my rod straight in. No push and definitely no drag angle. I've qualified a lot of welders for the 3G, 4G plate test. Biggest thing I see that prevents them from passing it, excessive undercut, excessive convexity, or trap slag at the toes of the weld. I like this Z-Weave because it helps prevent all that. I go up and over, and then straight across. Make sure you take it out wide and hold the sides. Give this a shot. If this video helped you out, let me know in the comments. Give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want more quick, concise welding videos.